everybody and welcome to my shop. I don't think it's a secret that I don't particularly like sanding, but you know what I like even less? Storing my sandpaper. Because especially with the super nice ugh, sandpaper that has the fabric backing, there seems to be an issue with the glue once it gets colder in the shop and the sandpaper rolls up. And I want to build something to prevent this. Okay, I think we need two parts to solve this problem. One is a housing where all the sandpaper lives in, almost like um, when you're in a record shop and you can flip through the different grids. I think that's the best way to store it. But to prevent the rolling, we need a pushing mechanism, something that when I'm not flipping through it, everything is pushed together and there's no way the paper can roll up. And that's the tricky part. <laughs> the box is easy. <laughs> so, when in doubt, just get started. Wow. Perfect? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect enough. Okay, that's great. So we have two centimeters room, which means this is the space we need to do finger joints. Yay. But I'm not going to do them because I suck at digital fabrication. But I know somebody who really likes the new shaper. <laughs> <laughs> Master of digital fabrication. <laughs> All right, thanks to Felix, the box has actually really cool finger joints. This is one of the most sturdiest connections you can make um, with just wood. So this is pretty perfect. Still, for the bottom, I decided to go with 18 mil plywood. And now you can see that we actually made two because I have two different kinds of sandpaper. This one has a fabric backing, it's a little bit more durable. And this one is the regular sandpaper that has a paper backing. The cool thing is, now that I was working with these clamps, I was worried about the clamping mechanism and how to have a way that is flexible because now this is how much sandpaper I have, but maybe in half a year I only have half as much. So I need a clamping mechanism that can travel quite a bit of distance, but still clamp it. That's perfect for this. It can travel, it's super flexible, and then you can give it this little bit of tension, and I think that's all you need to keep it all together. So, yeah, I think I will recycle these clamps. I have some spare parts too. Yes. It might look chaotic, but I actually usually always know where I have my stuff, see? Those are made for um, a workbench that has holes in it, so you can just put them in the, in the surface and clamp stuff down. Okay, nice. I even have super long ones, so they might, yes. And maybe I use two 
two of them to have even an even pressure. <gasps> and then we can have a handle in between those two pins. So it's a very easy one hand operation. I can lower, I can lower the pressure or take off the pressure, pull it back, flip through the sandpaper, push it back. Let's do it. <laughs> Spaceship-Style. Ja, voll. Ja, ist gut. Und dann, this can travel. Ja, I think it's ideal. Es ist unnormal. Wirklich. <lacht> Fühl mal. Boah. Ja, ey. <lacht> ja. Ja, ist okay. Ja, ist ganz okay. <lacht> ja, cool. Leim, Schraube, Schleifen, Pifffaff. Warst du wieder im Müll? Now, let's see. So far so good. It looks super good. Okay. All right, so definitely slots about as wide as these things are thick. This and this is where the screws need to be. What's happening? Doesn't work. Why? 
Oh, this is so frustrating. All right, you always go to school on the first one. The second one will be easier. easy to close that's good this feels so comfortable and to open it ah okay Let's see you might not even have to tighten it at all because it's automatic to make sure you can tighten it so this is the only movement I have to remember I'm just realizing this is the movement you want to make so you close it like that you open it like that it works so well. That's it. Just to emphasize why this is really a necessary project, we just opened this package and the paper started to roll up. I think it's the humidity or the cold, but you see that? Let's load it up so this doesn't get any worse. I mean, I don't think I have to say anything about this. It is so nice. Not a lot, like, I mean, of course, yes, it doesn't roll up anymore and that's what I wanted to do, but also to have all the sandpaper organized and accessible, that is such a game changer because before I was always going through the packages and looking for stuff and then you want to pull out one sheet and you pull out all the sheets. So now this, I feel like I'm in a record store. This is so nice. This is so nice. Okay, that's it. I will enjoy my new sandpaper storage station and I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next week. God bless you, Smudo, with a new video. Bye.